I would like to take a moment to talk to you a little bit about this book. About why I know it is the Word of God. And to help you discover that for yourself. To start off, I want you to understand that there is no possible way that I have the time to get across to you all of the thoughts on my mind with regards to this book. And I also know that my thoughts are simply going to increase in the future. And my testimony is going to even get stronger than it is today. But let me tell you that every single time I pick up the Book of Mormon and read out of it with the intent to increase my understanding, to seek for truth, and to become a better person, I am filled with enlightenment. My mind is quickened and I get excited about the good things of this world. I am comforted. I am filled with joy. I find direction in my life. And let me ask you, how is it possible that a book that is fictitiously created by man and inspired by the devil could possibly give me these types of feelings and change me to become a better person? I am not perfect. I am far from it. But I know that I am better today than I was because of this book that I've been reading. It is filled with all sorts of literary complexities. The summaries are so detailed that I know that no human being could have possibly created up in their minds any of these stories to be fictitiously placed down in a book that isn't of God. There's no way. Each time I open it up, I receive something new. I understand something from a different angle. There is so much information hidden in between these words that God wants his children to understand that there is no possible way any devilish human being could possibly have concocted any of that symbolism, those allegories, the alliteration, the chiasms that are found in this book. I have received time and time again feelings of comfort, of peace and joy. An understanding that this is not the only life that we are to live. Nor is it the only life that we have lived so far. An understanding of my Savior Jesus Christ. How could a book that points us in a direction to become better, to help the poor and needy, to change our lives for good, possibly be something that is not divinely inspired. And so it brings us to our two options. The first option is that this book was created by man. And in order for a book that professes so much divinity to be created by man, it has to be a work of the devil. There's no question about that. The second option is that it is a divinely inspired book with the word of God written in it and I know that that is true I really do there's no question in my mind and you know as, as a missionary I go around and I teach people about it and I'm not attempting to try and convince anybody that Alma and Amulek and Moroni are real individuals and prophets that lived in a period of time on this earth I'm not trying to convince anybody of that my goal is to convince you to try it out for yourself, to put it to the test. Not a test of doubt, but a test of faith. Open it up and read the words out of it and tell me that it does not inspire you to become a better person. And I promise you that if you do that and you are a good person, seeking to become better, you will find of its truth when you ask our Father in Heaven with a sincere heart, if it is the word of God. I promise that he will manifest that truth unto you. There's no question in my mind. But you have to do it with the right mindset. You have to be seeking for truth and for good and for knowledge in order for it to work. Because this book is a book that will be rejected by many. Because it isn't easy to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. It isn't easy to live the life that Jesus Christ lived or the things that he wanted us to do in this life. And so because of that, I recognize that a lot of people watching this video will reject the things that I have to say. And to those people, I invite you to reconsider your thoughts and to test it out. 
but I know that you're not going to be able to shake my knowledge. You're not going to be able to shake my testimony because I understand that the gift of agency allows you to harden your heart toward things that come from God. And I apologize if this has come across as being kind of bold, but I just need to get across the fact that I know that this book is the Word of God. And anybody that does not believe in it has the opportunity to find out for themselves. And I desire to help you along that path. I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.